Welcome guys. Today we are doing episode two of our brand new horror themed talk show, Talks from the Basement. Our guest today is the lovely, stunning, beautiful, bloody, sexy Yandere. Can we get some claps, everyone? She has so graciously agreed to let me torture her for two hours today and bring her onto my stream to be subject to bullying from you guys. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited to chat with her about all things horror. This week, I am going to be taking questions from chat in between questions that I ask Yanni. You guys will have the chance to interact with us in between the questions. Okay, chat. Hello, Yanni. Everyone, look at Yanni's sexy model. Look at this. Woo! God damn. So I good. I actually haven't shown this on stream before. This is a, uh, we're leaking it. Yeah, she's leaking it, bro. She told me that before we started. I was like, wait, this is your new model? You're leaking on my stream? I'm honored, truly. All right, okay, well, in case um, anyone in chat lives under a rock and they don't know who you are, uh, could you please introduce yourself to everyone? I'm Yandere, and I also am a horror streamer and a Yandere Woo! streamer. Let's go, horror streamers. Um, yeah, <laughs> there needs to be more of us. Yes, please. I love music, I listen to music a lot on my stream, um, and I love virtual reality. I fucking absolutely adore VR chat, and I'm in it like every weekend. Hell yeah. Um, I host, uh, uh, what is it, dark electronic events in VR chat. I have my own club there, so if you partake in that kind of stuff, check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna come sometime. Please I'm so do. excited. I, I would yes. love to show you around. I would love that so much. Every time you post pictures on Twitter, I'm like, God damn, I want to live there. <laughs> it looks so good. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Hell yeah. There's like blood everywhere. Oh my God. Okay. Sign me up. I'm ready. It's just like the basement, actually. It could be my second mm -hmm. home. <laughs> As kind of an introductory question I like to ask uh, to everyone I have on, I want to know how you first got into horror, what started it all, what made you uh, spiral into loving it so much to uh, turn it into such a big part of your content? My mom? You know, you're my the mom? second person to say that. Mickey last Are week was serious? like, my dad introduced me to horror when I was like six. I was like, what? <laughs> That's it's so crazy. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, my mom, she loved, loves horror movies. God, some of my earliest memories were just going into the living room and seeing some 80s slash around, usually Nightmare on Elm Street. That was our favorite one. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just, I grew up watching horror all the time. And okay. as I got older, that just kind of like stuck around in our household. And then it kind of went into weirder stuff like Rotten.com and like Wait, what's Rotten.com? I'm Dude, uncultured. you don't know what Rotten.com is? No, please educate me. Okay, it doesn't really exist anymore. The only way you can access it is on the Wayback Machine, but Oh. It's just um, it's like a gore site. What? It's so gross. Oh yeah, you can no! See the nastiest shit on there. But she just like call me into her room and be like, Ray, look at this gross thing, and it's just like. Wait, your mom I showed you this site? I can't even say site? it. I don't even want to say. It. Yeah. What? She showed me everything. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. Wait, how old mm -hmm. were you? Can I ask? <laughs> like third grade, maybe. Whatever. No. Yeah. <laughs> Like really young. That's crazy. Yeah, I love my mom though. It was really nice. Like, I don't know, growing up and being able to bond over. Yeah, no, like that's that. that's really cool. Like as long as you were able to handle it, like whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's just so funny that both you and Mickey were like, yeah, so my parents got me into horror stuff. Like what? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That's so cool. Curious how you got into it. My parents didn't show me, but my best friend was like, okay, Okay, I like horror, so you like horror. So I was like, okay, and now here That's we are. That's so cute. Yeah. So it's funny though because I never really played the games. Like I never played horror games. Never played like action games or anything remotely like bloody. Like it was just movies. The games I played were like opposite. It was like Animal Crossing and shit. Like I huh? never played scary games until I was quite a bit older honestly so i don't know if it was the same for you i i guess i started off pretty young with horror games as well from my biological father oh okay and my cousin yeah they introduced me to like resident evil oh and was that was like your game. first horror game it was one of them i think okay. my very first horror game was this game called d, d? I, I don't yeah it like was literally D's? just called the no, letter sorry. d yeah <laughs> 
like that. I've never That's heard the of it. That's I remember. It's just like, I barely remember it too. And I'm afraid to go back and look or like dig it up. Because I don't want to ruin the memories that I have. Yeah, I yeah. it was so fucking scary at the time. All right, chat. Does anyone have any questions for Yanni? You okay, so Bitcoin King wants to know what your favorite horror franchise is. That's a good question. I, I was really late into Resident Evil. Like I had watched my my cousin and my dad play through two when I was younger, but I only recently right. played through them myself. I fucking fell so in love with that series. It is so good. Yeah. Definitely that. And then possibly I really like the Outlast franchise. A lot <gasps> me too. Me too. I, I love, love Outlast. Outlast. It's really good. When did you fall in love with the series? At what point? Like, was it earlier games or later games? Because I feel like the later games are much more horror than the first game so i'm curious yeah so i think like the first one that i actually played myself was seven okay. and i feel like playing that one was because everyone told me like this is not really your typical resident evil game yeah but that was more along the lines of the games that i was playing at the time like it was very similar to outlast or yep. like yeah and i when you I compare it to the that. earlier games it's like night and day like i is. i'm so confused how they're in the same franchise mm -hmm. especially with like two through four like what well, how yeah. the fuck is seven and eight the same right creators as two through four like what mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy yeah i think two did it for me because i remembered a little bit of what i saw when i was younger oh yeah and so then, then you feel nostalgic um, and yeah, yeah being able to play it myself was like holy shit this is so fucking good. Nap says, did any horror games inspire your character design? No, I can't say horror games, but I can say uh, my design was inspired by some horror stuff. Uh, definitely Junji Ito mm -hmm. um, with the spiral. You guys can't really see it right now because I'm backed up but I have this called my blood iris and there's a spiral in my, my red iris. And that's definitely Junji Ito, like Uzumaki inspired. And then uh, my original model, my v ride one, like forever ago, was I pretty remember. heavily inspired by Toga. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Hero Toga. Academia. Yeah, <laughs> I, love I know you love her. her. <laughs> Everything else, though, it's just like stuff that I like. I love like demons and succubus, so I was like, okay, I need that. I love blood. I love Yandere, like just the the character type and the aesthetics that come with it. So. I just wanted all of that. Yeah, you could definitely tell. I, I think it comes through a lot with all of your models, honestly, even your first like 2D nice. one. So Omni Good wants to call. know if there's one uh, death scene that you're fond of. Mm. That's a hard question, I feel like. That but is a hard question. I think one that's always stuck with me. God, there's there's actually two that have stuck with me for years. Um, the first one, it's not just one death, but it's the death of so many people. <laughs> Ghost Ship. If you guys have seen Ghost Ship before, the opening oh. of that movie is like one of the most iconic, best opening scenes for a horror movie ever. The death scene in the beginning is so good. I don't. I won't go too far into it because I don't want to spoil stuff. But yeah, that yeah. one's amazing. Cool. And then there's a specific one in Thirteen Ghosts where someone gets cut in half by a glass door, and oh, that gosh. was just so nasty looking. And oh, I, I loved yeah, I it. Only imagine oh my gosh young me just absolutely loved it oh my gosh you're probably like the shock value is just like it makes it that Whoa, much more memorable cool. that's yeah, crazy you can, like seal the organs and stuff oh my gosh yeah yeah all right I want to know, as a fellow Yandere, I have to ask, what made you want to be a Yandere VTuber? And what's your favorite thing about being Yandere? Besides wow. it fitting um, perfectly in your name. Uh yeah. <laughs> so uh, before I was a VTuber, I was a face cam streamer. And I also cosplay. I'm very, well, I used to be heavily in the cosplay, but my favorite Thing the cosplay was Yandere specifically. So uh, my community knew that. And yeah. one day they just, they coined the name Yandere with my name, which is Ray. So I, I held on to that, but then I 
kind of saw this this new cool thing evolving in the streamer community, mm -hmm. which was VTubing. Right. And, so many. Um, the cosplayer to yeah. VTuber pipeline is crazy. It I saw is. a tweet about that yesterday. I was like, whoa, that's so true. Like, as uh -huh. someone who likes to casually cosplay and is now a VTuber, I was like, well, fuck. It's kind of like the same vibes because you're, you're putting on like, I don't want to say like a mask, but kind of. Yeah. You're just putting on yeah. something else and embodying yeah. something else. And it, yeah. It just, it, it feels cool. I don't know. Yeah, it feels really cool. I ha I have to agree. Ever since I discovered that kind of character, I've always just enjoyed the aesthetics and the personality of a Yandere. Yeah. And I just love blood. So yeah. I don't, it just incorporates itself really well into the Yandere yeah. design. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like it it suits your content and your personality also just like perfectly. So that makes a lot of uh. sense. All right, chat. Any questions from you guys about being a yandere? You got two yandere's here. So if you got any questions, then feel free to ask. I'm sure we could both answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're my first yandere that I've had on the show. So that's very really? exciting. Yeah. I'm honored. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin has another question. Thank you, Bitcoin. Are there any celebrity uh, crushes that you have or any obsessions? For me, I kind um, of grew up as like, like a fangirl. Like I had my Justin Bieber, One Direction, like all those kinds of like phases. So while I would say that like my IRL personality, it's not really like Yandere, like I'm, I'm very much not relatable. Like I'm not possessive or anything like that mm -hmm. IRL, but I do have these like fanatic like tendencies of like getting really into something and like wanting to be part of the fandom and stuff like that. So. I would say for me, I could definitely see that. I have some, I guess, some celebrity crushes, kind of. I have had the biggest crush on Charlize Theron for a long time. This one I feel like so many people like, but I definitely do as well. Megan Fox. Oh, I saw you tweet God. about her and your obsession with... Jennifer's body. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah. I I'm, I haven't seen that movie. I know that's oh like a my crime. God, I know. Watch it. I know. I I really it's should so watch good. it. Yeah, I've it's heard one it's of my really most good. Favorites of all time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and she she's great in it. I love it. It's pretty campy. Okay, um, but it's it's a fun watch. And yeah, the, the it gore and stuff is really cool, and she's just entertaining to watch. Yeah. And also really nice to look at. Yeah, yeah. I really like Megan Fox, so I honestly don't know why I haven't seen it. It's just like one of those things where I'm like, yeah, I'll watch it, and then I just don't watch yeah. it. <laughs> Fiendish asks, what's your favorite genre of horror? I'm slasher, creature feature, paranormal, or any specific tropes? I, mean, I feel like you I, like slasher. I like a lot. I love slashers. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I have a soft spot for like 80s, 90s slasher movies. But yeah. I think the ones that kind of hit different are anything like occult or religious. Um, oh, really? I, don't know why. I find them like extra That's cool. creepy for some reason. Well, yeah, um, because it happens kind of IRL all the something. time. Yeah, like, exactly. It's, it's, it's scary because it's like kind of realistic. It happens a yeah. lot. So It's with people. Like, I guess yeah. people scare me more than ghosts and just That's supernatural very valid. creatures and stuff so yeah, yeah it just hits it's a little different i agree i agree i want to ask if you could be any horror character or villain who would you be and why i don't know oh uh, well i know but i think this <laughs> might come as a surprise oh, actually okay. i have always loved carrie white really yeah. oh yeah yeah as cool as like knives and stuff are like having some kind of supernatural power i think would be super dope yeah but i also think freddy cougar would be awesome oh yeah yeah because of the dream stuff yeah i think that's so cool yeah things like where it's a little unconventional where there's something else going on besides just like serial killer like re, 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 yeah. you know like i think that's mm -hmm. definitely a, a more interesting choice for sure not the most realistic, okay. but <laughs> yeah. I want to ask a cosplay question because I know we talked about that earlier a bit. I wanted to know what your favorite horror or villain related cosplay is that you've ever done. I know you've done a lot, so. Yeah, 
I think that this one is probably really obvious. I, I love cosplaying Toga. She is my favorite. I've cosplayed her like, I don't even know, 20, 20 something times probably. Do you change She's it my... each time or do you use yeah. the same one? Okay. I usually, I'll do like a concept or something of her, something different. Like I've done nurse Toga, maid oh. Toga. Um, she has like this winter coat version. She has a uniform version. She has like a full gear version. Oh gosh. Um, um, Uniform I've done toga. Like, that sounds like a yeah, good one. It's <laughs> cute. What's your favorite weapons or props that you own? Galaxy <gasps> wants to know. Is it a knife? Mm. <laughs> I do have a knife collection. Oh. I have a Tonto. That one's probably my favorite one. Nice. I have a lot of cosplay props like in my room just chilling. Hell yeah. Uh, one that's actually in my garage, but it's probably the coolest thing that I've made. Do you play WoW at all? Yes, or have you? I do. Okay. Uh, obsessively. So, um. <laughs> I, okay, then you're gonna know. Um, okay. I made Sylvanas's bow or like oh. spine bow. Yeah, the yeah. With the bones. I think that's probably the coolest one that I've made. Wow. But I'm partial to my knife, so I love my knives. I could guess that <laughs> based yeah. on what I know I have... about you. Vez wants to know what's the most complex cosplay that you've ever made. There's a couple. Probably mm -hmm. Sylvanas because that was just whole body of armor. Oh which God. Was Did you make insane. that? Yeah. Jesus. Um, I could never do that again. And it was just like so much armor. Yeah. How and do you like every move piece was like handmade. That? It was so uncomfortable, dude. It was so hard to wear. Also, I guess because sewing is something I've never been really great at. I right. did make Morgan Aslan. The uh, nurse version was pretty complex just because I don't I don't really sew very well yeah um and that giant needle nurse Morgan was crazy and that one was yeah that was made by scratch and then Pennywise was super hard to make yeah that was really complex I I did a lot of um sewing techniques that I hadn't done before yeah I can't sew or anything so that's why I call myself like such a casual cosplayer I know it doesn't really matter it's but hard. like yeah I scrounge like Amazon and every like clothing website I'm like okay can I Dude, get something totally valid that's like very close to the vibe that I'm kind of going for because I just I do not know how to make shit and that's what I tell people too because so many people are like I can't get into cosplaying because I can't sew, I can't make things. I'm like, bro, you can just go online and, and get something, you know, if you have the resources to do it, you can go online, you could buy a bunch of pieces and kind of just put them together and create whatever yeah. vibe that you're going for. I've done that so many times. Like, yeah. And there's like so many good cosplay shops nowadays that like didn't exist back then. Well, thank you, chat, for all your cosplaying questions. That was super fun to talk about. Let's talk about some games. So what is the best and the worst horror games that you've ever played? I love Outlast and Outlast 2. That, mm -hmm. Those two specifically just stuck out because they were really so good. fucked up. Yeah. They were so good. But then I loved like Little Nightmares. <gasps> if you I love Little consider, Nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. Like that so one it should two. be considered horror. Like the things yeah, that they dude, do in that game are insane. And they just mm -hmm. mask it with like cutesy graphics and I'm just like mm -hmm. bro these people are eating each other like what the fuck so fucked. it's yeah. so fucked up have you heard of the game devotion I've heard of it chance? but I don't think I played it so it's it's banned on steam I don't know if what? it still is but it was when I played it yeah because there's like a really? specific there's oh. a specific poster that was like super offensive, I guess. It's like a Winnie the Pooh poster or something, if I'm remembering oh. correctly. That was like poking fun at the leader of China. But anyways, that game is insanely good. It's so beautiful. And it's just, I feel like any kind of Asian type horror yeah. game just hits different. I um, agree. Highly recommend They've been it. some of my favorites. They really just like know how to do horror. Any better bad mm. games that you want to talk about yes <laughs> i love talking so about games people like, don't like <laughs> i feel like these are going to be controversial oh, because gosh. i know that they're like beloved by so many people but yeah I just do not have the attention span for them. I could not get into Alien Isolation <gasps> at Whoa. all. I, I understand that so one. I so bored. Yeah. And then also similar-ish Soma, which what? I feel like, yeah, oh. I could not do Ouch. Soma. I feel Ouch. so bad. <laughs> 
But I just got so bored. That hurt me a little. <laughs> I'm so sorry. See, I know people love them both, and especially Soma, oh. Dead by Daylight. Oh my God, go and off. Phasmo. Yes. They're so boring oh too. It's just the same shit over I and over. I agree. That fucking game. Like, it was really fun when it was new. At first. Yes. At first, I was like, yeah, I get the hype. This is super fun. As time goes on, I, I realized that it's very repetitive and I'm yeah. not good at it. I could never I the get time. the right ghost. Like, it, even if I survive, I just get the wrong ghost and then you get like $3 and I'm like, Yes. I'm so over this fucking game. I'm mm -hmm. so over it. And can't. with Dead by Daylight, the issue is that if you have not been playing it for like six years ever and have <laughs> the most god tier build, you just get absolutely shit on. Destroyed. Like, yeah. Yes. Either people will like camp you and be super toxic or they just will outplay you because they just have like this crazy cracked build that they spent the last two years perfecting. And it's just like, bro, I don't even get how these builds work. Like, I don't, I, I'm sorry. I want to play because the characters they have in it and the collabs are cool. But like the players and the difficulty for new people to get in, into it, it's just like, it's too much. I, I agree with you though. Those are like big misses for me as well, as well as Phasmo. I can't yeah. agree with you about Soma, but I can I'm agree so with sorry. the other ones. Um, okay, I have a couple of like IRL related spooky questions and then we'll get into the Smasher Pass. I wanna know, do you think you would survive in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Honestly, I think, I don't know if I'd survive, but I think I would last a good while. Yeah, just because, well, like, I've consumed so much horror media and, like, right. zombie apocalypse kind of media that yeah. I have, you know, a, backlog a pretty good of knowledge. idea <laughs> yeah, yeah. of how to go about things. But I also grew up pretty outdoorsy. Um, I grew up living in the country, so I have like right. knowledge of like basic survival stuff. And I was in Girl Scouts too. Oh, wow. So yeah. So you, you're I, very I well a thing or two. <laughs> yeah. I'm paranoid. I'm very hyper aware of everything. I think, yeah. I think I could last for a little while. Maybe, maybe not throughout the entire apocalypse because I do do dumb shit sometimes, but I yeah. think I could could hold out for a little bit. So another IRL question is, do you believe in ghosts? And if it's related, have you ever had a paranormal experience? I've, I've talked about this with a lot of people before. Mm -hmm. I want to so bad. Like I, right. I want to believe because I've I want to just know that there's more out there for sure but i can't say like i've experienced anything that's like whoa that's that's a ghost or like yeah. seen an apparition or something i've had a lot of friends that have had paranormal experiences and Me too. i trust them yeah like, I trust, and it makes like, you wonder but i yeah. trust like there must be more from their experiences. Yeah. But I have had some like weird, unexplainable things happen to me. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't I don't really know what to put them on. Like I don't know if it's like a paranormal thing or what, but it was certainly weird. I guess I can explain one of them that was very bizarre. Um, and I don't I don't know like how exciting this story it is, but basically, um I when I was younger, um my mom she comes like running out of her room and she's holding this like do you know those um they're pretty old like this concept but uh they used to when you would get your photo taken at um i don't know like sears or something yeah, yeah. they would give you like a a little book thing or i don't know it's like a oh you open it up and there's little um, panels that have pictures in them. Yeah. You can I, just kind of display that. Yeah, you know I think I know what you're about? talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So um, my mom comes like running out of her room with one of those, but it was like hella old. It looked, it was just like this old cardboard one. Um, and she's like, did you put this on my desk? It was just perfectly on her desk, like sitting on her Whoa. keyboard. And I was like, no, like I've never seen that before. That and is so weird. Yeah, dude, it's even it gets even weirder. She opens it up and she's like, This is these are pictures of 
my grandma um, when she was a baby and um, her like long lost sister that like no one talks about my family apparently Mm -hmm. and then in the pictures there was this man who was holding them and he had his like face scribbled out what and yeah what so i don't know who that was but yeah something happened Yeah, where this just appeared out of nowhere on my mom's desk, and oh my God. to this day, like, there's no explanation for it. Yeah, um, and then unfortunately, like my my great grandma, she passed away, so it's like right. there's no explanation there. I never learned about her sister or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, like where the where the hell did this thing come from? And mm. like, I don't know if. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe someone wanted you to see it. And, yeah. Yeah. Find out more. Or, unfortunately, right. like, we like, can't, look into but, like, this. find out more. Yeah. What happened to this, this girl? Because yeah, it's something that wasn't talked about in my family. Like people don't talk about it. It's very taboo. What the hell happened? Oh my um, God. That's yeah, crazy. We'll never know. Wow. So I don't, yeah. I don't know if that's really paranormal, but it was certainly. It could be for sure. I it mean, could be. Yeah. if neither of you put it there, right? Uh-uh. It's like, then How the, the what's the only other there? possibility, right? Like, mm-hmm. that's crazy. I hope you guys have enjoyed the conversations we've had today, though. I feel like they were very fun and very interesting, honestly. So I have to love this. I've never done something like this before. It's been really fun. Yeah, it's it. I feel like not enough people just like sit and chat about like horror stuff. For us, like horror junkies or like people I who enjoy horror, it's like it's fun. I could talk about this mm-hmm. all day, honestly. <laughs> like, there's so many different types of things to talk about. What's a horror movie or game you suggest for someone just dipping their toes in for the first time? (gasps) That's a great question, honestly. That's really good. If there's anyone in chat who has not played a lot of horror or experienced a lot of horror things, listen up. Maybe we can make a good recommendation for you. I'm going to have to say, we talked about it earlier, but Little Nightmares. Oh, Oh, honestly, yeah. I agree. It's not too intense. There's yeah, not, there's no blood or anything. The horror is like the story and the creepy aesthetics. So that's a great way to like dip your toes in. If you mm-hmm. can handle that kind of like story and environment, then you can, yeah, I feel like you could slowly progress from there for sure. Yeah. Or any of those games that are kind of similar, like um, yeah. Limbo. Yes. Or Inside. Limbo, Inside. Ramble that just came out recently. Is, is a that good? One good? That's pretty similar. Oh my God, I loved it. Okay. It I've so been considering good. playing it, but I wasn't sure about it because it's so different. I think you'll like it. Yeah. Other than that, I guess let's just get right into the smash or pass. We've got here a short little list of 80s slasher villains. And Yanni is going to be smashing or passing them. All right. So first we have, what's his name? The guy from Scream? Ghostface. Ghostface. Yes. I I know a lot of people want to smash Ghostface. I was just going to (laughs) say smash. He's a freak. He has many good one-liners. He's got Riz Riz. for sure. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to have to say yes, smash. That's a smash. Surprising to nobody, probably. <laughs> Next, uh, is this one of the guys that you said you didn't know? Yeah. Okay. I don't know who this is. Do you, chat, do you know who this is? Is that the hey. puppet master? Oh, it is him. Good call. Yeah, that's oh, the shit. puppet master. I didn't even know that this existed. This looks terrifying. Oh, oh my, my God. God. These pictures are way scarier than that one. Holy shit. <laughs> this guy looks like a freak too. Yeah, but not in a good way. <laughs> So we're gonna little, we're gonna pass small. on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next we've got Candyman. I love them. I I feel like they're very too. underrated horror movies. Mm-hmm. I adore them though. They're very good. I'm gonna say Smash. Wow. Okay. I I get it. I get it. He's a yeah. handsome I mean, fucking look. man. Like everything about him is like tragic and like Mm -hmm. you just like you like he's one of those horror stories that's like he became a villain because of terrible fucked up things that have happened to him like in his life 
And I just feel like that also adds so much appeal. Like he he became wrong because he was wrong. Like, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And there's something yeah, so 100%. like good about that. I don't know. I would I would smash too. We love we mm-hmm. love Candyman. Next we have Chucky. Um oh God. <laughs> this is a weird one. Cause like obviously I'm gonna have to say pass. For right. This little, but he's, he's just a little gremlin, like pre pre Chucky. Maybe. Okay. Like, before he possessed the doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, he's so fucking cursed. Like, mm-hmm. some villains, they go, like, that, like, sexy man route. But, like, him, they were just like, well, it's a fucking doll. Just full, oh, ugly God. gremlin that, that pitter-patters around and mm-hmm. screeches in the worst way. Like, there is nothing fuckable about Chucky. I'm sorry. Well- <laughs> I, if Tiffany was on here, smash. Oh, sh- yeah, for sure. Smash. All right. Now we've got Freddy, big man. Oh, Freddy. God. Oh, shit. I love Freddy. Yeah. I just like imagine like the places he could transport you to and like oh, the fantasies he could true. put in your mind. <laughs> That's so true. I never thought of mm-hmm. it like that. I'm going to say smash. I, Maybe I without the it. knives. Maybe without the knife hand. But yeah. like he, I, he looks you know, pretty, pretty good in some of the movies without all the burns and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let that hand do. Yeah. Oh my God. Some people, listen, some people like the appeal of, you know, mm-hmm. weapons and stuff like that. So, you know. Okay. Next we have, I don't oh know. God. This is a I'm child, right? Hard pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is from um, Children of the Corn. Oh, but, uh, right. Yeah. Oh my God. I forgot about that. Just like, I don't know. Kids are so scary. I mean, like that movie there's slaps. a reason why there are kids um, in like every horror game, uh, mm-hmm. every horror movie too. What is, is this a, this is Snowman? Jack you, Frost. Oh, Jack Frost. Of course. Oh my God. I feel like he would just melt. Yeah. Is he even you- <laughs> like scientifically smashable? <laughs> You just feel like rubbing on water at one point. Like, I don't like being cold either, so I'm just going to say pass on that one. Yeah, being cold and wet in that kind of context is just not ideal. Parrot nose and <gasps> Stop! Uh, oh my... Okay, even if, okay, it would still be very cold and wet mm-hmm. so i, I don't, don't think that's on that. yeah no no it, guys come on come on i know <laughs> that we can get very creative with these smashing and passing but come on be realistic guys ain't nobody smashing this fucking snowman okay you could he could go down there with his friends all right we're friend zoning him it's fine <laughs> so next here we have jason Voorhees. yeah jason i feel like he is also like, like mega simped for in like the horror community yeah. like crazy I mean, he's so big true and yeah undying. that's true <laughs> he'll, he'll be there forever yeah true yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and say smash <laughs> oh well the next one is uh interesting <laughs> billy this well, little he, shit he doesn't really do anything but like ride a bike i feel like yeah he, he just kind of weeks around <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be the the best time he's also pretty pretty little yeah he's very um, small which would make things very complicated mm-hmm. i'm gonna yeah i think that's a pass for me but i love his design like mm-hmm. i'm a i love i always appreciate the spiral stuff yeah um, it's so and so good so scheme, iconic yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. I love the Saw franchise too. Me um, too. It's my favorite horror really? series. Yeah. Oh shit. The later movies are trash. I will admit yeah, that. It, the, the they series has its flaws. go downhill, but. Yeah. Especially the like whole it. ending thing. I was just like, yeah. bro, like, come on. It's just yeah. so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next we have, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't know who this is. Do you know who this, this is? This is Leatherface. Oh, Leatherface. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I I've heard about him, but I don't think I've ever seen the movie. This is a uh, Texas Chainsaw Mask. Oh, okay. I have to and see that. I haven't seen it, I don't think. I'm going to have to say pass, though. Really? <laughs> I mean, he's very similar to Jason, but he's like too boyish. 
to yeah. me. Like, I feel like he's, he's much more he's aggressive very emotional. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it just kind of, I don't know. I, I don't, I have no attraction towards that. Yeah. No, I don't blame you. Uh, that's like, it just looks like he doesn't take care of scary. himself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause his hair and everything mm-hmm. like, Oh, I've, he doesn't. You should oh. see his house. Oh God. Okay. Well, I guess that my, my intuition in. was correct. <laughs> Yeah, I I don't think I would want to smash, honestly. Big pass on that one. Yes. Um, the next one we have is this fucker. I forget what he's called. Oh he's like God. the evil he's leprechaun the, dude, yeah. right? He's um, a fucking little yeah. gremlin. <laughs> he's terrible. I'm gonna assume you're gonna pass. I mean, yeah, pass. okay. Sorry. Blech. He's he's right up there with Chucky. Like, no, no little shits. Little little gremlin shits. So next, this is Michael, Mr. Right? Michael Myers. Michael, yeah. yeah. Very similar to Jason vibes. The, yeah, the big, true. The big mysterious, big dude. man and mask. Yeah, and, and also he doesn't live like, forever undying. though, right? Oh, well, he I is? mean, okay. So I haven't oh. seen like the last, last, last Halloween movie, so oh, I'm not sure if he actually dies. That's true. But yeah, he survives seems for like, like seven movies forever. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's been through the ringer. I don't know how this man is alive. I'm going to have to say smash for this one. I think I like him better than Jason. Wow. I'm surprised. Yeah. All right. Next, dude in a gas mask. Is this one of the ones we didn't know? I think this one is um My Bloody Valentine question. Oh, right? oh my God. I forgot about that movie. Another one mm-hmm. that I saw like years ago that I have not rewatched. Well, he has a mask. So I'm curious to see what he'll say based on your other answers. <laughs> I'm trying to like remember because I saw it recently, but I'm like, is there anything actually appealing about this person? Besides the mask. It kind of reminds me (laughs) of, yeah. (laughs) I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm too unsure to make like a solid answer because it's okay. a little foggy for me. Yeah, no, that's The mask that's is fair. fine though. He, he looks built. He looks like, you know, yeah. like a decent. He looks sturdy. Time. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's a miner, right? Is that what he is, Sean? Oh, is he? That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> so he he must be strong. Yeah, yeah. Um I didn't know that like was smashable. Yeah. His qualities are smashable. Okay. Based on your other answers, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she has a type chat. It, I have it, a type. She likes masks, okay? So next is... Is that Norman Bates? That's Norman Bates? Oh, fuck. What? Oh. Wait. Okay, so I haven't seen the original Psycho. I he's mean... cute. Yeah, he's but very cute. He's got I mommy know, like, issues up the wazoo, yes, though. Serious mommy <laughs> issues. He would totally be in my Twitch type. chat, guys. That's how severe his mommy issues are. I can fix him. No, no, no. I can fix him. <laughs> I'm so conflicted this about a smash this. For you? Maybe. <laughs> I'm really torn, to be honest. Yeah, this is a hard one. I, I could like, I could see it going either way, honestly. Yeah, that's probably a, a pass for me. That's just a little too much luggage for me. <laughs> yeah, he's he's got a little baggage. Um mm-hmm. so next we have. Pennywise. This okay, is the, like- the new Pennywise and the old Pennywise. Apparently, they felt the need to include both. So you guys are gonna think I'm a freak. Oh I no, not the clissy new Penny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's something about him. I can like fix that him. Face she said. right there. <laughs> And I also, I, th- I like that actor, but also, I don't know, he, he looks good sometimes. Yeah, scour- scare rouse. That's yeah. totally it. Yeah, I'm going to have to say Pennywise, new Pennywise kind of makes me weak. I'm wow. going to smash that. What do you think about his monster form, though? I mean, I like monsters. So. He's really freaky though. Like he's like a spider. Spiders yeah. are scary, but it's definitely like a scare house thing. I know. Knew my it is smashed. Monsters okay. too. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Settle down. I'll put him in this. Is it high tier for you? Like, does he make you go like a wooga or like? Yeah, I would put him above uh, whatever my bloody Valentine guy is. Okay. Damn. I am learning new things about it. you and the Yankuza today. <laughs> So how do we feel about old Pennywise? Okay, he's a freak. One, he's a freak. That one I I feel less feelings for. Definitely, he's definitely a freak. 
Yeah. But he just doesn't have like the eyes. He doesn't have the look that I'm looking for. Uh huh. It's funny because he's played by Tim Curry, right? Yeah. And which I love Tim Curry, but like me too. I am a huge simp for Tim Curry. I yeah. love him. I think that he's very sexy, but they did him so dirty. Like he looks so ugly yeah. so ugly as pennywise like i cannot believe mm -hmm. that that is tim curry like i know what we're gonna have to pass you in this form yeah. all right it just just in this form i'm sorry this tim. one alone next we have right. this is pinhead right pinhead yes pinhead uh, smash no i'm kidding you're gonna sm oh my dude <laughs> he's gonna hurt you bro leather <laughs> he's like Sex. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot you like leather. Okay. I do. I know. I've, I've seen your new outfit. Okay. Oh I God. get it. I get it. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to smooch. Like, we can do other stuff. Right, right, right. That's, that's true. <laughs> I would probably not smash, but I respect your bravery that's for fair. wanting to. <laughs> So we've got this fucking thing. I don't even know. What is this? I don't know what that is. It, I think that is Pumpkinhead. Yeah, that's him. Wow, you guys wow. are so smart, chat. Good job. Do you want to put him I on Don't say, Know Them? Yeah, I can't say like uh, they're appealing to me I, physically. I don't, he's, he's a little Either. la creatura, you know? He's a little too much of a little creature, yeah. you know? <laughs> He's a demon summoned for revenge. There's a price for calling on him. In exchange, you must smash him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, well. <laughs> it's all right. You, you don't need to summon the demons. You got the Yankuza. That's pretty close, all right? That's right. <laughs> That's all I need. Last but not least, we've got... You said you know who this is, right, Yanni? Yeah, I think this is the one from Jeepers Creepers. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And if I remember correctly, I'm going to have to say Big Pass because I'm pretty sure he just makes you part of his home. Doesn't seem like a good a good fun time at all. I'm not no. trying to become wallpaper or something. Or a lamp. So, like a, Or a lamp. Oh, or God. Or like chair. A misunderstood chair designer. <laughs> not chair Are we rebranding, chat? I pass. Yeah, I, I'm assuming yeah, you're going to pass, pass too, Yanni. Yeah. That's like lowest end pass, too, yeah. I think. All right, chat. Well, that about uh, does it. But I had a lot of fun. This was so much fun. I, I feel like we talked about such a wide variety of things. It was really good. It was so nice. I, I, re I rarely have conversations with people like about this kind of stuff so it felt Hell really yeah. nice to yeah just bond over horror things something i love like yeah so so very much so yeah thank you for having me thank you for being here i appreciate you yeah. giving me so much of your time and make sure that you guys please go check her out um okay. thank you so much for being here good night everyone bye bye i'll see you guys next time goodbye goodbye <laughs>